In this video, I will be discussing what the drum buffer rope methodology is, its key principles, and how it can be used to improve production efficiency in manufacturing environments. The drum buffer rope methodology is a production control system that aims to optimize the flow of materials and information throughout a manufacturing facility. It is based on the principles of the theory of constraints, which states that the overall performance of a system is limited by its weakest link or constraint. The key principle of the drum buffer rope methodology is to identify and manage the constraint or drum of the production process. The buffer is a safety stock of materials that is maintained before and after the constraint to ensure that it never runs out of materials to work with. The rope is the signal that tells the constraint when to start producing a new batch of products. By managing the constraint and maintaining a buffer of materials, the drum buffer rope methodology is able to improve production efficiency and reduce waste. This is because it ensures that the constraint is always working at full capacity and that materials are not wasted on operations that are not critical to the production process. Another key aspect of the drum buffer rope methodology is the use of visual management tools, such as Kanban boards, to help workers understand the flow of materials and information throughout the facility. This helps to improve communication and collaboration among workers, which is essential for achieving optimal production efficiency. In conclusion, the drum buffer rope methodology is a powerful production control system that is based on the principles of the theory of constraints. By identifying and managing the constraint of the production process, maintaining a buffer of materials, and using visual management tools, it is able to improve production efficiency and reduce waste. If you're looking to optimize your production process, the drum buffer rope methodology is definitely worth considering. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more resources on the subject in the description.